Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your February 2019 general reading, secret message, insight to your secret message. I'm going to do a little bit of an intro, so if you don't want to listen to that, I will timestamp the video so you can skip directly to the reading. Um, I'd just like to say thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these readings, please like the video. That's the only way they get circulated around YouTube so that other people may see and hear these messages. Um, subscribe, and once you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. When I post a new video, you will receive a notification. Share, comment if it um, resonates with you in any way. You may go, and if it does not, you may go into my playlist and watch other videos. They are all um, individualized into their own playlist for each zodiac sign. And if you find um, certain readings aren't resonating with you, if you know anything about your chart, you may re you may look into watching uh, readings for your uh, moon sign, your Jupiter sign, your rising sign, and for love, your Venus sign. Uh, please check the description box below for information on what decks I am using. My PayPal link is there if anyone wishes to donate. No amount is too small to keep the videos running these free videos running for you, these readings, which do take time and energy on my part, but it's something I really love to do for you guys, so that would be greatly appreciated. My email is there. I do private readings also. My email is there. You can contact me through my email, or you can go to my Etsy page where I have a variety of readings there, and you could choose what kind of reading you would like and I like to say thank you to all my new subscribers thank you so much for subscribing and supporting me and uh, thank you to those who have purchased private readings they have been very very successful so thank you so much for that um, this may or may not resonate as it is a general collective reading so take what resonates like I say throw away what does not resonate not every single thing will resonate with every single person out there. So please keep that in mind. We may also pick up energies of past, present, or future. So I could pick up energies for some of you of something that's already happened in your life, something you're going through now, or um, something that may happen in the future. If it doesn't resonate, resonate now, you could always come back even a year from now and watch it and say, holy cow, you know, it really resonates now. So please keep that in mind. Cross watchers are welcome. So if you are someone dealing with a Gemini and you are watching for them, this message may actually be for you. So cross watchers are welcome. And you may also cross watch videos for the person you are uh, dealing with also. So if you're a Gemini dealing with a certain sign, you can go and watch videos in my playlist for that person's sign. And that may help the situation, better understanding of what's going on. Um, and I think that's it. So we're going to get started here. So I have the Barbary Zodiac Oracle here. So we are going to just shuffle this up, see what sign spirit wants to pull, what sign, element, planet may be affecting you this month. I like to think of all my videos as timeless, so even though it may be dated, um, a certain time, specific time. I still like to think of all my videos as timeless. So if you go through my playlist and even though it may have a certain time attached to it or date, um, but the title grabs you, then just disregard the date on it and watch it because it may resonate for you. So, okay. So let's get a sign, an element, a planet that Gemini may be dealing with spirit, please, for February 2019th or any time. Okay, we're going to get one card spirit, please, for the sign of Gemini. Can we get one card for Gemini? Okay, that one wanted to stick. So we have the moon, and that is a water energy. And that is Cancer Pisces energy. And the moon is about things not being totally revealed, maybe a little bit of secretive energy, um, 
not really knowing all the facts, not things seeing things clearly. You know how you, in the dark, in the night, you know, you look at something in the corner or outside and you're like, oh my God, what is that? And you go up and it's nothing, you know, so it can be very discerning, you know, um, you know, you think you see thing, see something one way, but it's not really how you think it is. So maybe somebody has to see something more clearly or get all the facts before they make a decision. Maybe they're judging something or jumping into a decision about something, but they don't know all the facts yet. They um, don't have all the information before they make that judgment call. I think some things, some things need to, something or some things need to be revealed or something to that matter. So let me just read a little bit about the moon here in case I missed something. Um, the moon always shows us regularity of cycles and teaches about the importance of change as it moves through its cycles each month. It governs emotions, instincts, and intuition as well as memory and imagination, issues around maternal figures, traditions, and adaptability can also be represented by the moon card. So we'll keep that in mind and let's see. This is the um, Enchanted Map Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. So we're gonna see what your secret message is for your general reading please spirit i had the intentions going into this when i meditated on the cards pre-shuffled um to please let it be a general reading because sometimes it ends up coming out as a love reading so hopefully we'll get a general reading for you guys as i do the love readings separate spirit can we please shuffle these cards i don't want to shuffle thank you one more the sign of gemini the february Thank you, 2019. What is Gemini's secret message? What do they need to know? What does Gemini need to know? Spare of February 2019. Can we give them some insight to the secret message? Can we have one card, Spare, please? One card. Thank you on that one. Okay, I'll put these here. Let's see what we got. Wishing well. Okay, so that's about wishing, hoping. Um, 48, so let's read a tiny bit. 48. Desire is the sacred impulse for life. Feel it, but let go of all attachments to ownership. Desire is the most important impulse for creating life. Now you're seeing the relationship between desire and inspiration and sensing that moment of truth when the, you when you feel the inception of new life it is an aha moment when you when everything makes sense perhaps you recognize a soulmate or are conceiving a baby or an idea the wishing well card mate wishing card awakens you to the presence of unseen forces that enable new beginnings Divine intelligence activates the field of possibilities where new life is co-created in a magical way. Neither you nor anyone else can know how or why this happens. It just does. To, the, to that end, you can't control the process of growth. Rather, you must step aside to be a channel for higher forces and re relinquish any attachment to how this new creation should appear or when. Form your intention and take action by dropping the coin into the wishing well. The trust and spirit prepare to be amazed. So the moon I talked about, oops, about cycles. And this is like wishing for a new cycle. Wishing for a new opportunity. A new beginning of some kind. But maybe you don't have all the facts yet, all the knowledge that you need to make that decision because you've got the moon energy. The moon energy in the tarot does represent um, secrets, things not being revealed, not seeing things clearly, need more information. So it is about intuition also, enlightenment. Okay, so let's 
get eight cards for Gemini. This is the, um, oh, hang on, I had Legacy of the Divine Tarot. So, by Chero Machetti, which I love this deck. So let's get eight cards for the sign of Gemini. Let's see what this moon energy is. And the Wishing Well. Gemini for February 2019. Spirit, please. Can you please get some information, insight with the tarot here to clarify their situation, please? For Gemini for February 2019. Spirit, please. Some more cards. three more sorry three more for the sign of gemini to clarify your situation for february 2019 please spirit three more cards okay they don't want to give me any i'm just going to pick them one more time gemini gemini one two three Okay, so let's see what we have here. The Hermit. This is Virgo energy. This is going in, reflecting, going into solitude, healing, trying to find your path, trying to find your light, your inner guidance. And then we have the Four of Cups. And this is feeling kind of uh, this is my block card. That's the only way I can describe it. And I have that feeling coming into this reading. I had a very block kind of feeling like you're not open to any offers. You're not open to anything. You just kind of want to be by yourself, not accept any offers coming in of any kind. Cups are water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we had the moon. I had mentioned Cancer or Pisces. So you're not willing to deal with anyone you don't want any offers from anyone you're not offering anything to anybody and you just want to kind of be left alone for some reason and then we have the two of wands so this is about fire energy uh sag aries leo and this is about having options like you trying to find your path your way like with the hermit here you want to make your own decisions. Like you don't want anybody telling you what to do. You don't want anyone uh, trying to influence your decision. This is about decision, the two of wands, deciding what path you're going to go on, what journey you're going to take, what box you're going to put this key in and set off on that new journey. So I feel like you, you don't want anybody butting into your business. You kind of want to be left alone to make your own decision about something. And then you have the Eight of Wands. But then we have a, Eight of Wands is about communication. Fast travel, communication. Um, so it's fire energy again. It's like you only want to communicate when you're ready to communicate. And when you've made your decision, after you've thought about it, then you will tell people what your plans are. But until then, you want you don't want anybody butting into your business. You don't want anyone telling you what to do. You don't even want advice from anyone. You just kind of want to be left alone here with this energy. Definitely next to the hermit. Then we have strength. This is Leo. It's about strength, courage, um, defiance, being strong-willed. It's like you know your own inner strength. You know what you need to do. You know you need to make a decision. And maybe you're trying to find out all the facts here with the moon energy because you know some, some things of the situation haven't been all revealed to you. So you're in the process now of 
finding out what you need to find out, what information you need to know. It's like you may be a very strong-willed person, or you could be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo. And uh, you, you just want to be left alone. You're very, I feel like very on guard and maybe a little defensive, like very strong-willed and like, you know, don't bother me. I just want to be left alone. I can do it on my own. I don't need any help. And then we have the Six of Swords. This is Air Energy, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And this is about leaving a treacherous storm in your life and heading towards calmer, safer, more peaceful waters. Can also speak of travel, of traveling. So maybe you're thinking of traveling or moving or just getting out of a situation and going into a more peaceful situation, you know, just getting out of a situation maybe, getting your strength and courage to leave. Maybe you're waiting for the right opportunity here with the hermit. Maybe whatever situation you're in, you're just, you're not comfortable there anymore. You're unhappy there. So you want a new journey. And when you're ready, you're gonna tell everybody I thought about it, I'm leaving, this is what I'm doing, this is where I'm going. Maybe you're moving or something. Maybe going on a long vacation. Two of coins, two of pentacles. So now we have earth energy with um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn. So we got two cards that could represent Virgo. So this is about juggling things around, uh, juggling ideas, juggling finances, uh, juggling people, situations. So you're juggling around, you got two and two here. So you're juggling around the idea in your head of what direction you're gonna go in. You're not quite sure yet, so that's why you have this reflective energy here of where you wanna go in your life that's better suited for you. You have the strength and courage to do what you need to do. And once you know, then you're going to tell everybody, this is how, what I'm doing. This is where I'm going. Five of Wands. Fire energy again, Leo Sagittarius. So this is conflict. Maybe you know if you speak your truth and say, you know, this is what I'm doing. And maybe it's something out of the ordinary for you. Or something you know if you speak of it too soon it could cause conflict within your friends your family your work environment whatever the situation is for you if this pertains to a love situation a friend situation a work family whatever the situation is for you I feel like you're keeping it to yourself definitely here to avoid conflict you're juggling around in the, your head what idea, what direction you're going to take, what direction you're going to travel into. You're staying strong and confident. And once you're ready, then you're going to tell people your decision. But until then, you're keeping it to yourself. Because you don't want anyone trying to talk you out of it. It's like you're wishing and you're hoping for something else, for a change finding out all the facts with the moon energy, trusting your intuition, your faith, you know, ending a cycle, starting a new cycle with the moon energy. So let's see what the bottom of the tarot has to say. Judgment. Wow. Number 20. So this definitely is the energy of making a final decision, and that's what you're doing here. It can be about forgiveness or giving someone from the past a second chance. Maybe you're going to return to something from your past, whether it's an old job, uh, moving back home, um, reuniting with an old friend you were on the outs with, and mending the fences. Or this could, just could be a judgment call on making this decision on what you're going to do with your life. Maybe you're, you're just very unhappy where you are right now. Maybe 
just in every aspect or in some aspects in your life and you know you know deep down here with the wishing well it's like deep down you know you have to make a change for yourself to be happy and you know some people aren't going to be happy with whatever decision you make there might be some arguments conflict and that's why you're going to wait to the very last minute to communicate what your decision is going to be and let's see judgment can be scorpio so with the moon you know it has cancer or uh pisces but now we have scorpio leo virgo so only you know what this is going on in your life and this could be what you're going through so i don't know let's see what's on the bottom of the deck the wheel wow yeah so the wheel of fortune so this is about uh cycles new cycles ending old cycles for the better turning the wheel clockwise in a better for a better cycle better luck so you definitely want this making this judgment call on this new cycle in life that would be the betterment for your own good, your own well-being, your mental health, your physical health. And the Knight of Swords, yep, that energy, air energy of telling people once you know what you're going to do. The Knight of Swords is about, he's a fast-acting knight. Sometimes he comes in a little harsh and bold and just kind of bursts in and spurts out a whole bunch of stuff and sometimes can cause trouble. But I just feel like you're waiting here with um, the Hermit and the Four of Cups to communicate. And you're going to stand your ground. You're going to be truthful and honest. You're not going to back down. You're going to have the night energy of telling people you've made the judgment. You want this new cycle and this is what you're doing. Because the Ace of Cups here is a brand new beginning. It's divinely guided. It doesn't necessarily, it's, doesn't necessarily have to be love with another person. Can be a newfound self love. So I think you're doing what you need to do for the betterment of yourself. No matter what people say, think, do, you're just going to do what you want to do. So let's see what the bottom of the oracle has to say. And we have Heal the Ouch, number 38. So, let me see what that has to say. Number 38. Forgiveness is the healer of the soul. And this is the card of forgiving. Wow. This is a time for great soothing of the heart, body, and body, soul, and mind. As this card indicates that healing will be pre prevalent in your life now. If you feel drawn to study the healing arts, you'll be successful in developing your natural ca capacity to restore others to wellness. However, the message may be that you're being called to change your behaviors in order to heal the earth. Perhaps you'll switch to a cruelty-free diet, eating less meat. Perhaps you'll pay more attention to how you, how, to how much better water or electricity you use. You're asked to be conscious of your footprint on the sacred earth and all of life to commit to the healing path. The heal the ouch card may also be an indicator of old wounds and broken bonds being mended. Wow. And I had said maybe mending fences with an old friend. Reconciliations are possible now. Let bygones be bygones. Wow. So some of you could be... <coughs> You know, coming back together with an old friend there was conflict with. Um, heal the ouch. So maybe you're just healing yourself. Moving on from a situation. Moving towards something better for yourself. But you're keeping to yourself. You're making that judgment. You're looking at your decisions. And you're juggling them around. What you're going to do. Being strong and courageous. Know that you need to travel away into something more peaceful or go somewhere more peaceful where there's less conflict, perhaps. And you're going to speak your truth with clarity, fast communication here when you've made your decision of what direction you're going in. 
and it'll be very healing for you. So, Gemini, I hope this resonates with some of you. If it does, please comment. Let me know as I try to respond to all the comments, and I love to read your comments if you like how I read. My throat is starting to act up. So some of you are at the point where you've been probably <clears throat> in this hermit mode for a long time, and you've finally come to the point now where you need to speak your truth. So again, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications for when I post new videos. And I hope you enjoy this. Good luck to you. Many light, love, and blessings. And don't forget to shine your light.